Did you know that a white wallpaper eats more battery than a dark wallpaper? A dark wallpaper actually turns off pixels on your phone, especially on AMOLED phones, and that saves you a lot of battery power. And then you couple that with dark mode on your phone, you've got a massive battery saving package right over there. A lot of apps today support the dark mode. So if your phone is set to dark mode, apps that support it would launch in dark mode automatically and that saves you a lot of battery overall. Always on display is one of the biggest battery mongers on all these phones. If it is set to always on, it can eat up to 1% per hour. By default, it is set to tap to show and that's fine. But if it is set to show always, I recommend that you select tap to show. So it only shows up when you tap the phone and that saves you a lot of battery too. And guys, before we move on to the third one, it'll be great if you could drop a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers and this would really help. This third one is the oldest trick in the book, but still the best. Turn off your location. It turns off your GPS radios and that saves you a lot of battery. Now I understand that you don't want to keep turning it off or on depending upon the app, but if you set up Bixby routines, it can automatically turn on locations for apps that you want. Next, turn off adaptive brightness and keep your brightness levels to low for as long as you can. The sensors otherwise keep sensing for ambient lighting and they keep changing the brightness levels. These sensors can eat up battery. You might want to save that. And in case you don't have this brightness bar up front, you can get that. Just go into quick panel layout and enable show brightness on top. And with this, the brightness bar would always show up at the top right below your controls. I actually have one hand operation plus installed with a simple swipe from the edge. I can get these controls uh, right there. One of the major ways to extend your battery life is by lowering down the screen refresh rate from 120 Hz to 60 Hz. This can easily give you a 25% boost. And then you can also lower down your screen resolution to FHD plus or to HD plus, but that might be a bit too extreme, so avoid that. Now, there are a couple of power modes that you can enable. Go into device care in your settings, check on battery, and then go into power mode and enable adaptive power saving, which automatically sets the power mode depending upon your usage patterns, which it learns over time. And for a more instant power saving, you can click on medium power saving. What that does is that it turns off always on display. It reduces the screen brightness, which I've already spoken about, but more importantly, it lowers your CPU speed and caps it at 70%. And that is really helpful. You can also go to app power management and make sure that adaptive battery is turned on, which it usually is by default, but just in case it's not, you can do that. Next, go into display. Scroll all the way down to edge screen and make sure edge lighting is turned off. It's not really a great useful feature. It's just a good to have feature, but can definitely help you save a percent or two over the day. Go into connections next and then go into more connection settings. You'll see something called as nearby device scanning. Essentially, your phone is always on the lookout for another phone that is trying to reach out to this for, you know, file sharing or music sharing. Well, you can stop that. I understand that Exynos phones have been giving a hard time and turning off all these features sort of ruins the overall experience. But if you're looking to extend battery life, nevertheless, these are some methods that can help you do just that.